Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we rank Floyd Mayweather Jr. best knockouts. Number 10. Mayweather vs. Sharmbo Mitchell. Displaying the hand speed and superior defense that are his trademarks, Mayweather rolled to a decisive victory in his welterweight debut November 19, 2005, stopping Sharmba Mitchell in the sixth round at the Rose Garden. You can hit a guy with an elbow. You've got to face his hand speed. And Mitchell has gotten hit with another hard. And gave Sean Bay some. Giving himself a land to jab. And then raking Sean Bay Mitchell with a great straight left hand. Gaddy couldn't get off at all. Because Florida throws some of the punches at him. Florida has the power to impose himself on a real strong welterweight. Yes, Second does. knockdown. This time the knockdown is on a body shot. We've seen a lot of knockouts on body shots in recent years. Mitchell's in no hurry to get up. Number 9. Mayweather vs. Angel Manfredi. WBC Super Featherweight Champion Mayweather was brilliant and Manfredi didn't stand a chance. Lloyd began quickly and won the opening round before increasing the pressure in the next. Hooks, uppercuts and overhand right reigned a non-Manfredi before the referee stepped in. Freddy and all, he five came in with a straight core for a moment. Shim should try to make his arms tired, so that you can wear him down to where he can be. And Mayweather seems a tiny bit confused as to his own offense. Now that Manfredi isn't throwing the jab, but there's a good idea. Mayweather with a right over the top stuns Manfredi. He's not confused at all. He's just boxing, keeping Manfredi out on the heel so he can see Manfredi. Manfredi in trouble as Mayweather pounds away. Manfredi almost went down. He won't take a knee, but he isn't throwing back. Mayweather pounding, pounding. Number 8. Mayweather versus Jesus Chavez. Mayweather's last fight in the super featherweight division was against future super featherweight and lightweight title holder Jesus Chavez. Chavez was the WBC's top-ranked contender. This was Mayweather's eighth defense of the WBC super featherweight title. He won when Chavez's corner stopped the fight after round nine. For the first time in their right, if you will, just your left hand without Jim. Finally, Chavez finds a little to the ear of Chavez, and that's it backwards. And now he has another left hook. That. He's accurate when he throws it. And now he wobbles Chavez. It goes down, and it is a knockdown. Left hook, Tim. Right hand, left hook. Second knockdown of the fight. This is here in the fifth. Chavez up quickly at the count of eight. Fox. Number seven. Mayweather versus Roberto Apodaca. This was the professional debut for 19-year-old 1996 Olympic bronze medalist Floyd Mayweather Jr. Apodaca went to one knee at 2.16 of round one after taking a left hoop to the body. Another left hoop to the body put Apodaca down again at round two. Apodaca was an obvious pain, and referee Kenny Bayless waved an end to the bout. He can, he can bang. Took a left hook, Apodaca. in the white these are super you look at some of the numbers in round number one Mayweather, oh, there it goes Apodaca. Apodaca. Making, making those numbers probably academic and i do not think he's getting up there. number six mayweather versus miguel melo and knockdown was ruled in the second round as mayweather pressed down on the back of melo's head and landed two rights to the body a right uppercut followed by a left hook put Melo down at 2.22 of the third round. He got to his feet at the count of three and informed referee Steve Smogger that he did not want to continue. We know that he's in excellent condition on two weeks notice. So we may be out. To the body, being themselves wide open. They're going for the body but points all night. So you'd like to see a lot more patience being displayed by Mayweather. Well, knock so. Knockdown! And the patience Two, there three, paid off as four, Mayweather has dropped five, a second time. Six. Big left hook seven, right on the button. Eight, 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 eight. Number five. Mayweather versus Philip Ndu. In the fifth round, 
Mayweather connected with a series of straight rights and lefts, Windu would not go down, Mayweather gave a little smile and continued the barrage. He dominated his opponent, before flooring him with a series of rights in the seventh round. Windu got up on shaky legs, forcing a stoppage at 150. This is a stirring performance. There are bruises around the right up, right here in Grand Rapids. And down he goes. Others landing, Ben. Ooh. Partially blocked. <laughs> you got to defend yourself to some extent. On the pipe with one punch. That's it. I don't think Floyd's worried enough. about his punches anymore. That's it. Looked like three or four straight right. Hands. Nick Durant is going to throw in the towel. Great. Nick Durant is showing Endo the towel. And Endo saying, no, don't throw it in. Endo is shaking his head at Durant saying, no, no, don't throw the towel in. Number 4. Mayweather vs. Ricky Hatton. Billed as undefeated, was a boxing superfight that took place on December 8, 2007, at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas between reigning WBC and the ring welterweight champion Floyd Mayweather Jr. and reigning the ring light welterweight champion Ricky Hatton. Mayweather defeated Hatton by TKO in the 10th round. Hatton is hurt by those two big Mayweather. Fight between Cotto and Mosley, a brilliant good punch. Now Florida, Florida's really, he's mixed. What? Really good time. Good. Sometimes it's the right hand, sometimes it's the left hook. Huge. Roy Jones at the peak of his career. Now there's that straight right hand. He can slide for slide for his career. Check that out. Of... Every situation for Hat. This fight is over. Number 3. Mayweather vs. Justin Juco. Mayweather Jr. faces Justin Juco on the undercard of a bout between Oscar De La Hoya and Obakar. Mayweather methodically breaks the sturdy Ugandan down before dropping him in the ninth round. Juco fails to beat the count of referee Mitch Halpern, and Mayweather gets the knockout victory. Combination there, the quick left and right. Beautiful right, backs Juco up. An expectation of Oscars uh, to knock him down. It's almost as if these two fighters were inside. Nice left there that counters. Two big whites there, and Juco gets knocked back down, goes Juco. For the first time in this fight, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is dancing in the corner. Juco has had a long night, he's thinking it over, and he's thought he's had enough. Number 2. Mayweather vs. Louis Leah. This bout was on the undercard of Daniel Sarigosa vs. Eric Morales. Floyd Mayweather Jr. beat Louis Leo by TKO at 2.33 in round 2. Leo was down twice in the first round and twice in the second. The referees stopped the fight after the fourth knockdown without beginning a count. There was another good right hand that hurt Leo. And a couple of lefts, one of them to the body and a short left hand landed inside. He is doing some damage right now. Eight count in the rules, so McKenzie must have ruled out another knockdown. His glove may have touched the canvas. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather. He never shows him so much poise. Oh. He's totally tentative and back on his heels now. Left hook lands, Leha stunned again. And you can stop at any time. And Jerry McKenzie's going to stop it. Number one Mayweather versus Victor Ortiz. Billed as Star Power, was a championship fight for Ortiz's WBC welterweight title. The bout was held on September 17, 2011, at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada and televised via HBO PPV. Mayweather beat WBC welterweight champion Victor Ortiz by KO at round 4. The left to both the body and the head. Now Mayweather left. abandoned his family when he was sexually helpful in raising his... Harold Addy, Evans for three. Okay, Jim, two rounds to one. 29-28, Floyd Mayweather. In round three, Floyd got into his rhythm, beat the heck out of him, and he's continuing right here. Look at those right hands. Ortiz got Mayweather into the corner, but could only grant one, throw one punch. But... Well, you know, Mayweather. The weight division is a title. Over. Mayweather's big stocks, but his right eye's beginning to stop. And he seems to feel the urgency. Pushing Mayweather back against the rope, jumping on him. Oh. 
Defend yourself at all times. Ortiz was apologizing. This is a good Now here's the apology. Watch Cortez look away. Lots of Ortiz talking to Mayweather. And watch that. And Victor Ortiz was not able to get up from that knockout. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.